Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to Not Too Shabby Chic. I am doing a tutorial or process video for some dice, dice that I got from um, Global Land. Um, I will link the unboxing video below in case you've not seen that. I got three different dies and um, talked about those. So tonight I am going to use, um, these are not bubble in. <laughs> Move those out of the way. I am going to use this die. And I will link it in the description box below as well. This is for the the hen and the baby chickens, the nest and eggs. You get one of each die. The chicken is super cute. To save time, I've already um, cut her out. I did her in green. I don't know if you could see that well. Isn't she pretty? And I've done the eggs and inked them with antique linen so they look kind of a beige color. And I did the nest and inked it brown with a vintage photo. And the other one I'll be using, I'll show you next, but First, I want to show you how I decided to use the, um, let me move that back, the chicken. Now, I know you already probably know how to um, use a die cut machine. In case you don't, I'm using this little sidekick by Sizzix, and I will show you uh, with the next die cut item after I show you how I'm using the chickens and the eggs and such uh, on this tag that I am inking outside of your view. <laughs> Sorry, but my inking folder looks really yucky because I use it over and over and over until I just about have it solid and then I kind of cut it up and I'll use it to make something. Um, but as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I am doing a cookbook journal. Actually, I'm going to try to do about four of them at the same time. We will see how I do because I take forever and a day to make something. So I take forever to make one. So I thought maybe I could do four and feel like I've got a little more accomplished. But anyway, so I'm using this coffee dyed tag and I just inked it. On this side, it's got a real pretty pattern from a doily. Um, but I want to put my chicken and I'm going to use my glue as soon as I find what I've done with it. Wouldn't you know when you start a video you lose your um you lose your glue and i had it right here by me at one time but global land has awesome die cuts stamps uh, which i showed last week they weren't part of my required items for tutorials or anything like that i had ordered them separately um and they also have um paper which I didn't realize they had papers. So I am just using a glue stick off camera, gluing, putting glue on my little chicken, chickadee here, to glue it down. And it looks purple, but I can promise you it's really not. So I'm just gluing her down. It will dry clear, I promise. So that is a stringy thing. I don't know where that came from. So these dies turn out beautifully. They cut beautifully. 
and you'll see that with the next item that I'm going to use. So here's my chicken, and I did it in green. It's oh no, I just tore it. Not to worry. Can fix this is kind of delicate, and I am heavy-handed. So there's my chicken. Shows up really pretty. Now I'm gonna put down my um, nest. No. Yeah, I'm gonna put the nest down next. And I'm hitting everything with the glue except the nest. So let me get this mopped up a little bit. And I'll show you. I was gonna put the eggs first, but I need to place the um, nest first. So I left and the chicken's feet are not going to show. So we're going to have her. Sitting in the nest. I think I want it up just a touch more. Yeah, like that. Isn't that cute? Love it, and I might ink that a little darker. Then I'm going to place the eggs. Beside the nest, because she's sitting on more eggs. So, you know, I can't really put eggs on top of her, because I thought about that, but I like them. Let me move this one over just a hair. Kind of like that. Isn't that cute? And then I'm going to put one egg kind of by itself. So we have three. I don't like even numbers with things. So we're going to lay it down right here. Isn't that adorable? Just die cuts. And they are so cute. Now you can add a sentiment can add some lace to this and some, some fabric um, a little ruffle whatever floats your boat you could add I'm going to select um, a ruffle that I like and I picked up the wrong um, container. <laughs> so let's see here. Here we go. Since I've got a green chicken, let's do... I kind of like that yellow for my ruffle. I should have already had that picked out. I also like this um, this one too. It's got the green. I think I like that better. Yeah. So I'm going to use this. Let me snip it off. Might use um, another color later. So to dress it up just a touch. I'm going to glue this just right across the bottom like so and I'm going to make a little ruffle there and we could also put um, a little sentiment up here. I could either um, stencil it, stamp it, or um, glue, sorry I, you're hearing things fall around me. I could also Um, glue something like from a magazine or something. Let's see what I think I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to use
Oh, this stamp. It says, all things grow with love. It's a little small, though, but it might work just right when I get done. The other option is, and I kind of think I like this better, the best is yet to be. The eggs are coming. The baby chickens are the best is yet to be. So right now, I'm going to turn on my glue gun. Since I have misplaced my uh, my glue. <laughs> oh, I know where it is. It's in the other room where I was working on my um, kitchen journal. But I like the yellow, but this has the green in it and some orange, so I think I'm going to go with that. Yep. Cute. So in the meantime, let's stamp. My sentiment. So I have out some stamps that I was going to use that are from Global Land as well. Um, with my chicken, but I don't think any of these are what I want with this particular thing. So I like things not straight so I'm just gonna do it right here cute the best is yet to be and that's true every day as we go through each day just remember the best is yet to be super hot just yet but I think it is hot enough to glue this on like that excuse my fingers I've been inking so um, they get a little nasty looking. Isn't that cute? I'm going to put this um, at the top. For a little tab. Let's see how long I want it. Do it right about there. Yeah. Perfect. Cut that puppy that way. Cut this extra off right here. Okay. Sorry, I have tilted my camera and this cord is on my last nerve, guys. So let's put some glue right here. that down like so then on the back I want it to stick up just a hair from to pull it out in and out with the tag mercy I got stuff crawling all over the place So that is cutie, cute, 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 and somebody can journal still on the back of that. Um, 
Let's trim this up on this side. And I don't really like that white showing on the back. So, see if I've got enough to match it. I do, I do. So we are going to stretching this glue. So I gotta get another stick. We don't want white showing through on either side. I think that is adorable. So we have the best is yet to be with the little chickadee, chicken and the eggs. Isn't that cute? Thank you, Global Land. This die is absolutely adorable. So there's my tag. And here's the back. So that is one thing I did with this die. The second thing I'm going to do is I have this cute little tag and I've already inked it up. I used uh, what color? I used um, Distress Oxide Peeled Paint and then I went on top of it with uh, coffee. So that's the back. This will be the front. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my chicken right here. And my babies are going to go there. We're not going to be having any eggs on this one. You also get another glue stick for my glue gun. Okay. So I'm going to use the glue stick again because I think it's a little easier and it glues really well. I'm gluing it off camera of course and it's purple glue so I can see what I'm doing. Let me pick my chicken up without tearing her. And being careful <laughs> so that I do not uh, pull her legs apart or anything like that. And I'm looking for, oh, there's one thing I was looking for earlier. I'm looking for my cloth. There we go. So she looks cute right there, or he, or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to put some baby chickens following behind her. She's going to have one on her heels. And the other one following behind that one. And I just think these are adorable. You could use this, these little baby chickens for Easter. Farm journal. I'm going to use it in a cookbook journal. Because, you know, we cook chickens. Love me some fried chicken. So that is how simple that one was. Isn't that adorable? And I think I'm going to add this sentiment, all things grow with love, on this one. Come in, knock, knock, knock. So as you can see, you get just one die set and you can do a multitude of things with it. And make 
lots and lots of stuff with just one die. So isn't that adorable? All things grow with love. And chickens, and then I'm going to put some cloth um, right in there. And I had a piece earlier. Just have to remember where I stuck it. Here it is. This is some sari silk that I actually got from a chindi rug. You know those, they look like rag rugs. Um, I got them from Five Below. And they were 60 inches long. And uh, three two feet wide or two, three feet wide something like that super cool and um, I took them a one took one apart I'm in the, oops sorry I'm in the process of taking the other one apart and you get the most gorgeous because they use scraps and they're made in India um, of sari silk and some tool so I have a bag full just from one rug and it was five dollars and fifty-five cents at the five below. They got to change their numbers to six below, I think. But anyway, this has some green, and I like the orange. So we're going to loop this through. Tie it towards the front like so. I don't even think you can see the green, just a little right there. So there's our other tag, and I want to even that up just a hair. And let's fray it a bit. That's the way I like things to be. Okay, we have an adorable little tag for my kitchen journal. Cookbook journal, whatever you want to call it. Cookbook, I guess. Isn't that adorable? So here's the two tags. Cute as a button. Two totally different looks, but both adorable. And this can be... Um, journaled on the back so there you go and last but not least I have not sure how long I've been going so I'll just um, I'm not sure how far we'll get but we'll see I'm using this paper and I am using the book little book dies and this is the number and it comes with one piece that makes the cover and the pages and then you've got a little piece to make a pocket and I'll link this below and in this set you got uh, 10 I believe which is a lot but because of that I can cut several at one time so this is going to be my cover And this is one of the dies, so I'm going to go ahead and make two covers because I might make two books. So that's what I'm going to do. And I want to get this secured right there. I'll take my I guess this is too long for my sidekick. These were nice because they fit my sidekick without having to drag out my big one. So we're going to do that. Let's cut this off. And we'll run it through. Oh, it's already loosened up. Here. 
here it cutting. There it goes. And I roll it back through for good measure. And here we go. And here is the little book. You fold it that way. Isn't that adorable? Now this paper is from one of my original mixed media prints, um, digitals that I sell. It's called Boho Me Background Pages. Um, and I've got a lot of different things on it and that's what um, I'm using. Sorry, my husband called. And um, anyway, that's what I want to use as the cover of the little book. Isn't it cute? Now we're going to make the pages to the book and I have chosen this um, faux coffee stained or old looking paper I got um, from Amazon and I'm going to cut it so it will be about the width of my um, plates. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're using a die cut machine. So let's stick with these and see what we got. So I'm going to start with this one. Let's move him back. My little sidekick. And this, this are the, these are the pages. Aren't they cute? So I'm going to put one, I'm hoping to get three, which is the good thing about having multiples because you don't have to cut a bunch at one time. You can just, I mean, you can cut a bunch at one time without rolling it a bunch of times, was what I was trying to say. So we're going to do this. Okay, this one got loose. Put that down, pick these up, and we're gonna take off. <laughs> of course, I'm taking off, but it isn't going with me. Come on, just because I'm on the video. Well. See if it'll go with two. Maybe I don't know. Earlier I was testing it and it seemed like when I put more dyes than it liked, which I don't know what that's got to do with the price of tea in England, but that seems to be the case. It only likes two, not three. So we've got two of our pages for our book. And let's do two more. So I wanted to have about five. So we're going to do two more. Let's do these like this. This one. To retighten my sidekick. I don't know why. That's the way it rolls. Two more pages. Four. And I want to do, like I said, five pages. So there we go. Gonna get some more pieces of paper. I wasn't too cutting needle.
Okay. It's just a hair wide. So I'm going to put the paper down and put my die in like so. You know what? Let's make this one darker and see if we can get a little pocket, which I don't know how that will go, but we'll see. Let her roll. Here we go. Back through. And you may not have to roll it back through. That's just, I'm used to doing it that way. Well, see, it moved on me. So that's kind of wonky right there. So I messed that one up. Operator error. So let's get this page. Even it up. Turn it over. Okay. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put my page like that. Okay. Let's try it again. This time, I'm only running it through one time. Let's see how it does. I haven't tried that before, but we're going to see. Yay! So I have my fifth page and my little pocket. Now this part of the die, I'm not sure because it comes loose. You can do it like that, I suppose, but I'm just not sure. So that is... Um, make one more pocket actually you know because I have several I can make two pockets two more pockets so let's let's turn them this way just for fun retighten Ready, set, roll. Oh. Now, one thing you can do is use washi tape so these don't move if you wanted to. Um, with this little one, I don't typically, as I'm talking, have to do that. But it's looking like I might need to on this one. I like to put them in the middle so if they shift. They've got room because this is a pattern that doesn't matter. See that little spiny thing just fell in the floor. Lord only knows. Okay. There's that piece. So we got some little pockets. We're done with this for now. Let's move this out of the way. My little sidekick buddy. Go over there. And as I said, we've used the die that I showed you, the book, the pages. And I guess these are pockets. I'm just not sure. So that's what I'm calling them. So there they are. Oops. Trying to slide. Put them back there. So now we're going to assemble our little book. And we're going to need some string or, or twine. Sorry, it's not string. I'm going to use a 
I think I'm going to use this blue twine to um, tie it together. But first, let's do some inking and assemblage. Now, don't judge. Here's my inking board. I don't want to mess this up too much. So, the underside of this is brown. And I want to be careful with it because I don't want it to tear. So, when I ink it, I'm going to be try to be gentle. And on the inside, you know, I could have done double-sided paper or something, but I like this plain. And you see I'm heavy inking, so not much is going to show there. Then on the outside, you're not going to be able to tell much, but we're just going to do it just because that's what we do. And these little books are absolutely adorable. Okay, so there's the cover. And here's our little pages. And again, I'm just inking around the edges. And I'm going to pause to get the rest inked, and I'll be right back. Okay, all my pages are inked, so I can move this. I have not inked my pockets. And I only need to do one side of those. Got to do it. Hope you're still with me. Um, those who are still with me will probably be in for a drawing. But you have to say what I tell you to say. And that'll come in a little while. Sorry, I'm making y'all watch that. Okay. We've got pages in the pockets. Ink. And probably I should have done the um, little pockets in a different color. But I didn't. So, we're lining up our pages with this little hole right here. Let's turn it this way. One way that you'll see, the, yeah, this is the way. One way, it, it, it is a certain way that they match up. I did learn that. So, well, let's just do this. See if we can get all of our, okay. That one's backwards. See, that's how you can tell because your lines, your holes won't line up. We'll line up all of our holes. And we got the little wonky page. I'm going to put it first. And we're going to line that up. Do right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I need a little needle to sew my um, twine in. I might not need a needle, but I think it'll be easier 
if I do. And I need a big, there we go, a big eye. get it through good so what I'm going to do is let's see go down and up because I'm going to tie it in a bow so I'll put that through and go through this way then I can take this off And we're going to tie it in a cute little bow. You could use ribbon or regular thread, twine, whatever you want to use. I just grabbed this because it's what I saw first. And I like the waxed because it holds its shape a little better. So we can maneuver it just a touch to go kind of sideways instead of long ways, like so. Let's make our bow just a tiny bit smaller. There we go. And cut that. little shorter there we go so there's the front isn't that cute and I'm not going to take the time to decorate it um, the front and stuff because there's I don't have much time and y'all a lot of y'all already gone so I just wanted to show you how you can assemble the book now this is the only problem for me it looks like it's going to come loose so I think what I'm going to do is glue it to the first page that will go like this so that it won't get lost so we're going to just do this right here Fix my bow back in a minute. Here we go. So we're going to glue that on so it's like so. And see, aren't these cute? So, you know, if I wanted to make it for my farm journal, I could add, you know, one of my little chickens on a page. But I'm not sure if I want this for my farm journal because this looks boho or my sewing journal or what so I'm not gonna do that I had some stamps though if I use it for my kitchen journal which I still could and I can cover a lot of that up so I thought these um, are from Global Land that I purchased and I want to show you how we can use a couple of them and I also want to make a tiny pocket that we could embellish. So, let's put that, let's skip this page and put the pocket on the next page. Of course, you just wanna leave the top open so you can stick something in there. We've got a little tiny pocket. And if I want to use it for my kitchen journal, I'm just stick that chicken right there. Cute. So there we can embellish more later. But I want to show you a couple stamps and then we'll wrap it up for today. And um, I will link these dies that I've used tonight below. And I'll also link, this is one of the st 
sticker sets I'm going to use. And I will link that below so that you can order them because they're really inexpensive shipping when you um, order several things you get free shipping so I got quite a bit and I thought it was a really good value so for our little tiny book I want to use since I've got the chicken here On this side, I think I want to put um, we'll just stick a cake on there. We will use the cake. Get my block. And I like stamping with black ink because I think it shows up better. wasn't very good, was it? I'm going to do a test. Looks good. So, let's wipe this off. It looks like when you're um, stamping and getting your ink on that there's not any on it, but there is. So, I need to put something cushy under here so we're going to do that and we're going to put our little cake cupcake or cake or whatever this is it's cute right beside our chicken isn't that cute so that was the um, cupcake and on the next page, you know, and I can put some lace or just little things. Leave some journaling space. So let's do, let me see if this one will fit. Yeah, I think it will. Do this next. Clean all the black ink off. And we are going to position it right here. These stamps are so cute. So there we have the cake under the cake dome. Sweet. It's literally. <laughs> and on the very back we'll do one more we will do I like the oven mitts so let's do oven mitts cute so here's our little book our little bow and I will embellish it later but just you could put ever how many pages you want in here and it is adorable so this die is amazing and they probably have one that doesn't have um, 10 they probably have one that has one but I like having multiples and I love the little scallop pages the little pockets I can add later but thank you for joining me and please check out global land because they have amazing products and i know you will find something that you like and maybe you could participate in their unboxing program as well and do videos so um i will link all of the stuff that i used tonight in the description box below and Thank you for tuning in. If you've not subscribed, I 
ask you to please do so and hit that like button and leave me a comment and um, know that God loves you and so do I. And what you need to put in your comments to be eligible to win a prize is you are loved and you are. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.